Athena! You will! Don't let him open the door! Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at tough unlockable costumes, weaponry, and armor across the God of War series. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Blazing Magma Armor Set In the 2018 game, there are two optional realms that offer tougher challenges, Niflheim and Muspelheim. While completing both gets you great armor sets, the fiery Muspelheim is the harder of the two. Made up of combat challenges, you'll be able to craft and buy the magma armor set from materials you only find here. Doing so only takes a few fights, but if you want to take full advantage of what it can offer, you'll need to put in quite a bit of effort. Upgrading the armor set requires going through many increasingly tougher trials, including a fight against Gondol, who, while not on the level of Sigrun, is one of the hardest Valkyries in the game. Mime of War God of War, Chains of Olympus There are a lot of unlockables in God of War that you can only get by beating an entry on the highest difficulty. For Chains of Olympus, you get the Mime of War costume. It isn't as simple as just starting the game on God Mode, as it's called. The difficulty level is only unlocked after beating the game once. Not only do enemies naturally hit harder, but orbs are only worth half as much. The Mime of War is definitely a good reward. In contrast to God Mode, wearing it multiplies the worth of red orbs by 4 and green and blue orbs by 2. That's on top of the silly appearance and invisible weapons. The Zeus Armor Set God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> Ragnarok has a lot of beneficial armor sets, though one of its best can only be unlocked on a New Game Plus file. A second playthrough isn't too big of an ask, considering how passionate the fanbase is and that the option was added post-launch. However, where you unlock it will still pose a challenge. You can't begin collecting the pieces until you've beaten the main storyline. Afterwards, you'll need to clear the post-game remnants of Asgard quests. You'll get one piece after clearing your fourth remnant, another after your sixth, and the final piece for defeating the Valkyrie Queen Gana. Even if you did face her on a regular playthrough, this is far from an easy fight. The Grave Digger's Shovel, God of War, Ghost of Sparta. Feel the power of Olympus, insolent fear. Die, mortal! Ghost of Sparta played things a bit differently with how players unlocked content. It included a new area called the Temple of Zeus where Kratos could spend red orbs, collected either in the campaign or through challenge modes. The highest costing reward was the Robotos costume at 250,000 orbs, but in total, you'd have to spend a million red orbs to unlock everything, and therefore gain the temple's hidden prize. While you get these orbs just by playing, that's still a lot of work. But by doing so, you'll be led to a secret area with the Gravedigger's Shovel, which unlocks the ability to play as Zeus in the game's combat challenges. <laughs> the 
Nick Kratos. God of War, Chains of Olympus. It's a shame the newer God of War games don't have the silly costumes of the Greek era. In Chains of Olympus, the Mick Kratos costume made the Ghost of Sparta resemble a Scotsman, complete with bright red hair, a kilt, and gigantic axes in place of his Blades of Chaos. Wearing it drastically increases Kratos' damage output, while having the amount of blue and green orbs you can collect. The costume is unlocked by beating the Challenge of Hades, a series of five combat encounters. It isn't as arduous as some other optional challenges in the series, but a few of them are still a pain, especially one that has Kratos constantly losing health while enemies come at him. The Spartan Armor Set, God of War Ragnarok Valhalla. Ah. Sony surprised everyone with an unveiled free DLC for God of War Ragnarok at the 2023 Game Awards. As of writing, Valhalla is still brand new, but it is, without a doubt, one of the more difficult areas in the game. Bringing new story elements as well as roguelike mechanics, it's hard to say how difficult a time you'll have when so many things are randomized. However, you'll have no companion, and you'll only unlock cosmetic armor as you go. Kratos enters with only his weapons and skills. Additionally, considering there are a ton of bosses inside, you'll definitely be tested. While there are additional challenges, beating it once gains you the Spartan armor set and the ability to make Kratos look like his Greek-era self. Athena and Hercules Costumes, God of War 2. God Mode is called Titan Mode in God of War 2, but no matter what it's called, the very hard difficulty remains an insurmountable challenge for many players. In addition to beating the game once to unlock it, Titan Mode increases all enemy strength while decreasing yours. Green and blue orbs aren't quite as potent, while red orbs are much rarer. Beating Titan Mode gets you two costumes for the price of one, Hercules and Athena. The Hercules costume doubles your power while having your defense, and the Athena costume increases the value of red, green, and blue orbs while also giving a decrease to defense. The Hilt of Skafnung, God of War Ragnarok. Technically speaking, Kratos gets this hilt upon starting the Fit for a King quest in Ragnarok, but actually being able to use it, that's the tricky part. Players must hunt down and defeat all 12 Berserkers, a couple of which don't fight alone. Not only are they naturally scattered throughout the realms, but they're on par with the Valkyries from the 2018 game. Which is to say, they're gonna beat the crap out of you. <laughs> The final bout against King Hrolf is obviously the toughest. If you don't have your weapons and armor fully upgraded, he'll make you regret it. Thankfully, the hilt is worth it once you can actually use it. It summons a group of ghostly swords that make every enemy encounter a breeze. <laughs> Radiant Shield of Unity, and Aspis of Spartan Fury, God of War. Every God of War game is hard if you play on the highest difficulty. With less opportunities to heal than the original games, the Norse ones may just have the edge. But that's far from the only issue. For the 2018 installments Give Me God of War difficulty, enemies are not only stronger, quicker, and more durable, but their status effects also deal more damage and last longer. <laughs> B 
Beating the game this way will surely satisfy you, but it also comes with a couple of rewards. These are two shields for Kratos, the Radiant Shield of Unity and the Aspis of Spartan Fury. Sadly though, these are purely cosmetic skins for the shield he already has. Challenge of the Gods Costumes God of War 2005 The original God of War had multiple silly but rewarding costumes to unlock. However, it took beating a series of fights that are some of the hardest the series has ever seen. The Challenge of the Gods is unlocked after beating the game, and tasks you with completing 10 encounters. Many of them come with time limits, which only add stress to the already daunting criteria. Most of them throw groups of extremely powerful enemies at you, and the final one is a recipe for fury. Kratos must raise a platform by defeating satyrs and Cerberus pups, who endlessly spawn and take up quite a bit of room on the minuscule platform. If you have the patience, this unlocks Chef of War, Ares Armor, Bubbles, Tycoonius, and Dairy Bastard. Which of these items did you have the most trouble unlocking? As always, share your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great gaming videos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.